Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It's Monday, October 16th. Halfway through October. Everyone had a good weekend. We got stocks uh, showing some green today. Dow strongest. Up about two-thirds of a percent. S&P up half a percent. And the NASDAQ up a third. So might get some green here to start the week. See, the VIX is down 4.5%. So it's still up up, still up still quite a bit, though. It's $18.44. So it had gotten down to 15 I think it was last week, beginning of last week. And now it's come back up. We got Meta up one and a quarter. Right, blockchain up nine, over nine and a half percent. Lululemon, Lulu have earnings? Yeah, Lulu must have had earnings. Up six and a half percent. So earnings start to kick off here this week. We'll have to keep an eye out for those. Netflix, October 18th, so Wednesday. Tesla also Wednesday after market uh, opens. So a couple big ones there. There is the bell. S&P up 19, NASDAQ up 55, and Dow up a little over 220. Maybe we'll get some maybe we'll maybe we'll get some upside volume runners today. Although sometimes when markets are up really big out of the gates. A lot of times you don't get those. I'm still paper trading the zero DTE iron condor.
So we got some stocks pushing up here. See if all these green bars hold. VIX uh, coming down, it's down a little over 6% now. S&P up 28. NASDAQ up 107. Getting a new bar here in about 30 seconds, and then we'll be ready to roll. <clears throat> A few red bars here, Target, MU, PayPal. Meta also, although it, it's real close to being a green bar. Look for some growing volume here. So looking for a volume bar bigger than the first in the same direction. Not seeing anything right now. Uh, Roku, though, has a big volume, big volume bar, but it's in the opposite direction. That could change. But here's something to consider. So, the first, the first volume bar was green, but you can see it is like just barely, like another tick down. It would have been red. So, I don't usually. See how green now is uh, their second bars turn green there and just turn back red. So I usually pretty careful on those because um, that first bar was real close to being red. So Let's 
See, I like it more like you see NVIDIA here had a nice, nice push up green bar. And then it's pushing up some more. I don't know that it, that bar is going to get there, but there's definitely no doubt that that was a green bar on the first one. AMD going to be close. Yeah, sometimes it, yeah, MNS, sometimes it does that where price looks, price is one color, volume is different. That's why I stay away from them when they're like that. <laughs> So I don't think we're going to have any that get there. I mean, NVIDIA is not going to get there. It's close. AMD is going to be close, but it's not going to get there. So, no volume runners to start. Lululemon now up uh, a little under 8%. So we'll look for some mighty 90s here. And still possible volume runners. Sometimes Mondays, you know, a little bit lighter trading. You don't always get volume runners on Mondays. Yeah, see, see Roku. So I didn't didn't trust those. Boeing coming down through lows of day. VIX coming up. It's only down five and a half now. You have a little two-way action. Amazon pushing highs, but a lot of stocks pushing lows.
I don't know. I mean, it just does that sometime. I mean, you'll see that from time to time. Once been flipping back and forth. That's why I don't ever play them. But it's not doesn't happen often, but it's not like it's out of you know, it, it, it does happen. It's just like they're so close. And they flip back and forth, red, green, red, green, and then that's why I just ignore those. So Boeing may have a mighty 90 long coming up. Same thing with Roblox. How much time we got left? Only 30 seconds, so. Today... We trade the four DTE, four days to expiration. Oh, look at some, look at getting long Boeing. This mighty 90. That's bounced up a little bit. I'll see if it pushes down. Roblox as well. Let me look at Roblox. No, no. So Boeing's pushing down. Go back to that. Boeing, I would trade the 185 calls. Try to get filled at 240. Build a 240 Boeing. It's the 185 calls. Oh, mighty 90 long. Out of the gates. I would add to Boeing if it gets down to like 215-ish. Try to add here. Build it 215 to add to Boeing. So nice, nice little mighty 90 there, plus one extra push down. Hopefully it bounces off Friday's low. I would close half my position at 240, which was my original entry. Amazon pushing through highs.
A lot of stairs stepping down in volume. Baba, Baidu, Square. Just not, not really giving us anything volume-wise. Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon, NVIDIA. A lot of our, our a lot of our big stocks that we like to trade. Um, just getting a lot of stairs stepping down. Volume. It's not something you want to see to get because there's just no opportunities for entry, really. We'll look for two green bars consecutive out of Boeing. Same can be said for Roblox if you jumped in Roblox Mighty 90. The Roku's all over the place. Big green bar, big red bar, big green bar. VIX coming up. It's now it's only down four and a half percent. It was down over six. Baba had a push down. Now it's Last 10 minutes has gone all the way right back, right back up to where it opened. Netflix pushed up and then came down through lows. Baba just pushed through highs of day. So kind of a tough uh, kind of a tough morning here when you got these push down, then it comes up through highs or vice versa. Doesn't make things the easy. Boeing kind of struggling. It's not a good sign for my mighty 90. Needs to, needs to get going with some of these others. Oh, 240. Close half of my Boeing, so a good add there. Really like a mighty 90 when it's got, you know, clear separation of volume on the on the these two bars right here. And then if it pushes down again. And then comes down to a key level like Friday's low. It's just an ideal mighty 90 right there. And we'll see if it continues up or not. Amazon pushing through highs of day. Baba through highs of day. Come on, give me some signals here. Need some opportunities. Just nothing when you see volume like this. Every every just pretty, other than Roku, pretty much every every ticker on my front page here is just volume stair stepping downward.
Or maybe we'll get one green bar out of Boeing. Look at DKNG. Push down, push up. PayPal pushing up. May get a mighty 90 short. PayPal pushes up a little bit more. I may get short there. Definitely some separation there between the current bar and previous bar. I would trade the 57 puts in PayPal. Let's see if I can get filled at a dollar ten. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Cancel my PayPal. Amazon pushing through highs and through that pivot. Come on, Boeing, give us one more green bar. Roblox coming down through lows of day. Fix down 5% now. Roku's volume is all over the place. So only one trade so far. Kind of trying to start looking for continuation runners. Ah, Boeing. You back down. Just kind of want the mighty ninety short after their, some of these had two and three bar push ups, but. It's kind of why I wanted in PayPal. Meta coming down through lows of day. Look at Tesla. Had this really nice push up out of the gates. And then it's just been a slow grind lower since. So a little bit of weird price action happening today, honestly. Volume not giving us any. Any good signals and then price action a little odd makes for a light trading day.
some these stocks look like they want to go higher, some look like they want to go lower. Anybody else seeing anything else that I'm not? Boeing is falling asleep right there again. Amazon getting a little mighty 90 short. Let's see if it pushes up again here. Boeing pushing through lows. So did not give us two consecutive green bars. Looking at Amazon, but it's already pulling back a little bit. Maybe closing my Boeing because this bar may get as big as the first, which would make it a downside volume runner. I'm going to see what it does here. I mean, it's got three minutes left, and it's already three-fourths of the way there. I mean, and it could it could flip green and be an upside volume runner by the end of this three minutes, so I'm just going to kind of see what it does. I was thinking about adding back into it, but I'm waiting just because if it ends up coming down and being a big red bar, I should probably just close it. Yeah, that PayPal Mighty 90 would have been nice to see that. If it could have gotten in up a little higher. We're coming down to lows of day. Yeah, that, that Amazon Mighty 90 would have been good to get into. Yeah, Bumblebee. I was I was looking at getting into it, and then it started to come down just as I was looking at the price of the strikes. So I wasn't quick enough. All right, so Boeing. That bar, man, take a look and toss.
No, it's not. It's not as big as the first. It's not going to get as big as the first. So, honestly, I may add add to it. It kind of looks like it is in Orion, but in Toss, it it doesn't look like it's going to get there. It looks like another mighty ninety long in Toss. Yeah, it's pretty close, though. You can see in toss, it's see, it's not it's not as big as the first in toss. Oopsies. Oh, one. Here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add back into Boeing. Filled it two bucks to add to Bo to Boeing. So still gonna play it as a mighty ninety. Dow up 200, NASDAQ up 108, S&P up 25. I'm wondering if something, I'm not sure what's going on with Boeing. Earnings on 8, 1025. So I'm not seeing any news about it. But you take a look at like Meta's volume, Apple's volume, Microsoft, Netflix, NVIDIA. It just doesn't give us anything, man. It's frustrating. We could get a couple green bars push up in Boeing. Could be a nice winner. I mean, I added, then got out of half. And then it came back down, so I've added again. I think it would give me some green bars here at some point. I mean, the market's pretty darn strong. VIX is down 6% now again. DKNG approaching highs of day. Man, right. Blockchain was up 9%. Now it's almost flat. PayPal would have been a good mighty 90. Amazon getting close to giving two red bars after that mighty 90 short. Baba looks poised to go higher here on this push up, a little consolidation. Roblox not getting a big green bar. <laughs> it is.
And my, my zero DTE trade never got filled. It's been sitting there now for 20 minutes, no fill. So I'll just cancel that. Yeah, I didn't get filled on Friday either. That's two days, two trading days in a row. I have my zero DTE paper trade that it has not gotten filled. It's kind of frustrating. He can G through highs of day. Yeah, a lot of these stocks have gotten, you know, two green bars in a row. Boeing is yet to do that. Uh, I do have an order to close half my Boeing again for the second time to get out of half at 220. Just nothing I really like in terms of price action either. Build at 220. Whoa. That Boeing just pushed up. That's what we needed, right? You know, I look at like this time, it's 10 after 9 central time. Should be a time to get in some continuation runners and just the price action isn't really giving us any. It's been a while since I've only taken one trade, although Boeing I've gotten in, gotten out of half, gotten in, gotten out of half. Airbnb through highs, DKNG through highs. AMD through highs. VIX down 7% now. See why you get out of... Oh, man. PayPal out of Mighty 90 long, too. You can see why you get out of two, after two consecutive bars. PayPal would have been a winner both ways. Apple up to highs of day, Meta up to highs of day. Microsoft through highs of day. Yeah, Microsoft little mighty 90 short right there. Let me check toss. Yeah, I mean, it's not a good, not as good a one as what Boeing was. So I think I'm just going to hold on it. Let me screenshot this real quick and I'll bring it over and show you why. Okay. So see how, see how Boeing, when I originally got in, see that, that definite separation here. And then you know, Microsoft, it's 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 a little bit, it's not not as not as big of a separation there. Now it is pushing up and I do like them better if they push make one more push up, which it it is doing right now. But I like to see a little more clear separation. So hopefully that makes sense. But 
it is pushing up and it could be getting another bar bigger than the first. How much time's left? It's about ready to change. So I'm gonna hold off on it. I mean, things are so strong right now. Things look to be getting stronger. Now, Meta, I mean, it's got a little one here too, but it's already come down. Okay, can Boeing give us two green bars, please? But if you wanted to go in Microsoft and maybe go in a little bit smaller, I go for it. Like it wouldn't be wrong to do. VIX down 8%. So is this market going to just continue to rip? Or are we just going to get up and down happening all day? In Boeing, give us one more nice push, please. Yeah, Meta's got this little mighty 90 and it's pushed up as well. Oh, I'm sorry. That's DKNG I'm looking at, not Meta. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, right there, DKNG. If you want a smaller stock, not a bad looking setup. Yeah, see, Microsoft's still pushing. Now, coming up to this pivot might be the place to get short right here. Probably be closing my Boeing here. Look at, look at getting short Microsoft here. We do the 335 puts. See if I can get filled at 380. Boeing. Going to go ahead and. Leave a couple contracts on in Boeing in case it rips higher. Build at 380 in Microsoft. That's the 335 puts. Little mighty 90 short. Let's see. Get two red bars out of it. Boeing. Built at 240 to clo close a quarter. So I closed a quarter of my Boeing at 240. So I'm going to go ahead and just close the rest of my Boeing. I'm just going to go ahead and close it here. As it's giving me two consecutive green bars.
built at 235 to close Boeing. So played that pretty darn well, actually. Play that pretty good. And I have an order at 420 to close half of Microsoft. And DKNG actually got a big volume bar to the upside. So it's turned into an upside volume runner. So if you did a mighty 90, I might get out of it. If you did a mighty 90 short, because it got that big bar. Boeing will probably rip to highs of day now. VIX down eight and a quarter percent. Yeah, that's the that's the one thing. If you have if you're in a mighty ninety, and it gives you a big bar in in the opposite direction that what you're what you're in. In this case, if you're a mighty ninety short and it gives you a upside volume runner, it's usually a usually a time to get out. And vice versa, if you're in a mighty 90 long and it gives you a big bar to the downside, might be a good time to just exit it. Because it really cancels out your rules, right? You know, you're, if you're in a mighty 90 short here in DKNG, your rules are to wait for two red bars. But then you get this big bar, so it's like, oh... Well, may give a little pullback, could be like one bar pullback and then rip again. Meta trucking through highs of day. So some of these stocks are still ripping up. A little concerned here about Microsoft. It gets through that pivot. Although it's not it's not ripping yet. But Apple just pushed through highs. Meta, NVIDIA. Square coming up to highs of day. Square actually has a mighty 90. With, it's pushed up two, two times since that mighty 90. Thought I got a pretty good fill in Microsoft. Look at a mighty 90 and square here. One last trade of the, for the day. 44.5 puts. Go to the buck seven. Probably could have maybe gotten filled better, but it was pushing up. See Boeing. Boeing gave us those two green bars and has rolled back over. No, Microsoft, I'm I'm waiting for two red bars still. I mean, it hasn't given us any reason to think it's gonna continue higher other than the price action, but you know, there's no no big green bar or no. 
It's still, I mean, it's still hanging out about where I got filled. So we'll get a new bar here in 15 seconds and then we'll see what happens. And I always position size so I can add to it. Just like I did in Boeing. I mean, it's it's on. It's been a, it's pretty good push up here. At, I would be surprised to not see some type of pullback or pause at some point here. Microsoft is one of the stronger stocks on the board, though. I would close half my square at a dollar seventeen. I would add to Boeing at about 3.30 right in there. So I'm not really sure what's what's causing this thing to be so strong today. You can't you really take it off. Build at 340 to add to square. I'm sorry, Microsoft. That was weird. It adjusted a couple ticks. And so if you look at, I got filled at 380. So a 10% drop would be at 340. So um, then I would get out of half my Microsoft, my original fill of 380. So I hope you see how that works. Check out my square. I need to add the square. We'll see here. Not quite yet. It's pretty close to where I entered. Netflix pushed through Friday's high. VIX down nine and a half percent. Wow. 
Something's feeling this strength, man. Not sure what it is. Video went through highs of day. Just need a couple bar pullback here. This is why it's important to position size in case you do add. No, an upside continuation runners when you've got like a pause and you got like, it's like flat. I haven't really seen any today. Maybe PayPal or maybe PayPal or MU. See how it's like pushed up and then it doesn't really go anywhere. And then it continues. Microsoft has been pretty just straight up. So I mean, things can't go up forever. This is why I don't look at my profit loss. Like I don't look like if I'm up or down, I just play the, the rules. I mean, I'm sure I'm down quite a bit here in Microsoft, but look, it's had one, two, five, see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 45 straight minutes of up. I mean, at some point it's going to come down. So if your position sized correctly, you should be fine. You can you can you can see DKNG though why you would get out if it gives you an upside volume runner, and you were in a mighty ninety. Lululemon up over 9% now. So Lulu would have been potentially an upside continuation runner. Like it's pushed up and then it has this pause and you knew it had good earnings. So you might've taken a chance right here. Cause then if it would have, if it would have pushed below this consolidation, you just bail on it. It's a small losing trade. Man, Microsoft really pushing up. So when it's in a rip your face off, it's just you, you kind of got 95% of the time I'm going to wait for my two red bars. So there's 5% of the time where I'm like, well, I better just close it and not let this get any worse. Uh, square. I'm going to add to my square. Build it 99 cents to add to square. So I added a square because it's come up to this pivot. So I'll stay on here just a little bit longer than normal since I'm in two shorts and we're getting a rip up right now. Remember, it takes the like it's taking the it's taking the stairs up right now. Microsoft, hopefully, it takes the elevator down right here.
VIX down almost 10%. Again, I would close half my Microsoft at 380, which was my original entry. So this here, it, the volume bar is showing red. So it's like, do we do we count this as a consecutive red bar? Like, let's just say this next one's red too. I mean, I pretty much treat this one right here like it's just, it's just neutral. It's just nothing. Um, and so, do I get out if this next one's red? I kind of, I kind of. My gut always says get two consecutive red bars, and so this this one's kind of a neutral one. But it all kind of depends on what the market's doing too. If the if the market's coming down, then I would wait for two consecutive. If it looks like the market's going to rip, then I would probably bail after the this red bar. So, not a hundred percent sure on it yet. Square not coming, not coming down. Yeah, it's, that's that's why that's why I addressed it. It has this red volume bar, but it pretty much is neutral. So that what I what I just explained is how I play that. So if it looks like a bunch of stocks are going to are ripping up and this gives me a red bar, then I might say, yeah, it's time to bail because it's just going to rip higher. Or if a lot of stuff's starting to really come down, then I would just wait for another red bar. See, we got two red bars from some stocks here. Baidu, Baba. Roblox coming back down, nearing lows of day. Meta's getting two red bars. Dow up 350 now. NASDAQ up almost 200. Wow. I'm glad I didn't get filled on my zero DTE because that would have been a would have been stopped out with this big push up today. Anybody hear anything? Any, why it's so much strength right now? The AMD is getting two red bars here. Tesla's had a pretty tight range this entire day. Microsoft really hasn't gone very, hasn't really done much in this last 10 minutes. See Meta coming down. So that's what we need out of Microsoft. That's what Meta's doing. We need it to come down and fall through this pivot. Square coming right up to the pivot. So definitely probably not going to get in any other trades. So we got about 15 seconds left. So it looks like Microsoft's going to give us a red bar. So I am going to just kind of play it by minute by minute here to decide whether it, it, it may it may continue higher and start to rip up. 
you know, this could be its pause. You, you mentioned, is it turning into a continuation runner? It could be here. Where I've got an order in at a dollar ten to get out of half. Might adjust that. Some of these look like maybe they want to. Yeah, Roblox coming down to lows of day, though. See Roku coming down. This is why we don't, we don't go much past 930 centrals because you get price action that sometimes slows down to a crawl. Go to a dollar seven to close half of square, which was my original entry, so I adjusted it. Not sure what to think about Microsoft here. It, it's not moving very much, but if I had to if I had to predict, I would say it's going to rip through highs. But then I'm seeing other things. You know, Meta starting to come down. Nvidia is getting a second bar. Netflix, Amazon. See AMD. But I don't know. Microsoft just might be stronger than everything today. I mean, it's up two and a third percent. The VIX starting to come back up, though. See, if you look at TOS, Microsoft has only given one red volume bar. That's why I play that as neutral. Okay. Can we get a push down, Microsoft? If you could scratch a trade like Microsoft, you've done pretty well. I'm thinking it's it's pausing and it's going to rip again. So I see square bounced back up. Darn it. Again, you can see why we don't I don't trade much past 930 central. It's 944 and you're starting to like things aren't always necessarily following the rules anymore. And price movement is slow. So I think I'm going to close my Microsoft out. It's kind of setting up to pause and then rip higher. 
filled at 350 to close Microsoft. And I don't know if you could technically say that it gave you two red bars or not. It didn't really go anywhere. It'll probably fall apart right now. But it has really set itself up like it wants to continue upward. You have this big push up. You've got a pause. And it may come down to this pivot and bounce off the pivot and continue to rip higher. So not going to stay in it with this minimal price movement anyway. Ah, square coming back up. Darn it. So I'm going to watch this square and wait for two consecutive red bars. Unless if it rips through this pivot, I might just close it. But it is a mighty 90. So I'm waiting for two consecutive red bars. I've gotten out of half my position. So that's why I'm holding in case something falls apart here. But uh, if it rips through the pivot, I'll probably just close it. So. Let's see. I will be back tomorrow, I believe. Is that correct? Yes. I'll see everybody back here tomorrow. Talk to you later. Peace.